Hi guys, this is Rosa Kelly. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you how to make this adorable little mini album using toilet paper rolls. So I hope that you guys join along and let's get right to it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be making a cute little mini album using nothing other than toilet paper rolls. Like I said a long time ago, I've been saving my toilet paper rolls to make something really cute and adorable. This is a mini album that I actually did a couple years ago, so I thought it would be fun to do something very similar to this. And my idea to make this little, I guess it turned out into a series of little tutorials um, to send some happy mail so not just to get you up and crafting and to make yourself happy but also make somebody else happy by sending some adorable happy mail all of my happy mail ideas are for someone who is not necessarily a crafter someone that can receive something cute and just have it on display and hopefully you have a printer at home where you can already add pictures into your little books before you send them out but if not i'm pretty sure whoever receives these little albums will be also happy to add their own pictures as well so with that said let's go ahead and get started so to make this little book we're going to be using some toilet paper rolls like i said i'm probably going to be using three or four it depending how many pages you want to do i wouldn't do more than four for one and so what i'm going to do first is ink my toilet paper rolls to we don't so we don't have that um that edge So now that I'm done with this, I'm going to measure my little toilet paper roll to see what this is. And this is four and a half by two and a half. And so I'm just gonna continue using my scrap pieces that I have um, ready here, just so I can kill this paper pad. So I'm going to cut my pages at four and a quarter by two and a quarter, just like that. So I also went ahead and cut a few pieces of four and a half by two and a half and a score at half an inch and we're just going to be adding this into the pages and those are going to be like extra flaps for some of these layouts. So I'm just going to add it to the side just like this and then I'm going to go ahead and add my design paper. So now I'm done with the pages and we're gonna work on the cover. So for the cover, I have two pieces of five by two and three quarters. And basically you want your toilet paper roll to be about half an inch um, wider here because we are going to add a hinge. 
and just a little bit small, uh, bigger on the top as well. So I'm doing a quarter inch taller than my toilet paper roll and a half an inch wider than my toilet paper roll for my chipboard pieces. And I tell you that just in case your toilet paper rolls are a different size than mine. So I have two of those and then for the spine, it's going to be the same um, length here two and three quarters and then i'm cutting this by two and a half so now we're gonna put this together i'm just gonna wrap this on some craft color cardstock and of course you can do black just whatever theme you want to do for this one i did black cardstock and then i ink my toilet paper roll on black as you can see in there so i'm just gonna join these two pieces together and i'm just gonna wrap my chipboard on that cardstock So now we have the base ready and we're gonna do the hinges. So for the hinges, we're gonna do it exactly like we do our large mini album hinges. But this piece measures two and a quarter and this is gonna be by 11. So I might trim this a little bit. So I'm just gonna start at one and a half and then I'm going to do two inches and then I'm going to do two and three quarters and three and a half. So basically you're gonna do half an inch and then three quarters, three quarters, and then half an inch and then three quarters, and three quarters. And we're gonna do that until we make the four hinges. Okay, so I have half an inch, three quarters, three quarters, and then one more half an inch here and three quarters and three quarters. And there you go, so we have this piece. Now we're gonna join all the three quarter inches together. And that is where we're gonna insert our pages. Just like that, and just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna move this to the side. And I'm going to glue these pieces so it will look like that. So then I'm going to glue these hinges into the cover here. So make sure you have enough glue. And I'm just gonna center the hinges with the spine. Um, you can also use the first half an inch score line that we did to line it up. But if not, you can just center it just like that. Okay, and then I like to go back with my ruler and score again on the bending line just to help these hinges fold with your cover. And I'm gonna do this one too. Okay, and then we're just gonna fold each side 
like that. And then all we're gonna do is add our pages in here, just like we normally would do. I'm just gonna do this with glue since it's so tiny. Just gonna add my glue. I'm gonna find the center of the toilet paper roll. Right there. Oh, I'm actually going to add glue on both sides, okay? You can do this with double-sided tape as well. And I'm just going to find the center and I'm going to add it. Don't add it all the way until the binding um, spine. Just make sure that you leave it just a little bit out like I'm doing here. And that's going to help you open this a lot easier. And I'm just going to continue with the next one. And there you go, how cute is this little book? So I'm just gonna continue decorating the pages using my scrap pieces and then I'll be back to do the final reveal.
and here is this adorable little mini album i really really love how this turned out i used some of the um, tim holtz paper dolls and i love that they have these tiny miniature dolls because they're most of them are large but look how cute are those i never knew what to use those tiny dolls for and they turn out to be perfect for this book i'm also using some little birdie crafts blue flowers here and some cord um some pretty lace here this is from my stash this is something that i actually picked up in peru and i love the vintage look of this and so yeah just a little bit of collaging and super quick and easy so let's go ahead and look on the inside pages i just did some little tiny decorations similar to the front cover um using the little uh, paper doll so this opens up like that and then we have the little insert here and this is just playing for a picture and here a little tiny collage as well and this also opens up like that and we have the insert there as well on these two i actually uh, did two smaller flaps mainly because I did not have enough paper to do a full flap like that and I just trim it a little bit smaller and just made um, two of those so there you go and you also have some room for pictures in here you can do picture picture here's another insert and on the next page just a plain page right there and here another collage of this beautiful little girl there with some little tiny pieces of the lace, some scrap paper here to add some layers and this also opens up like this. On this one I didn't have enough paper to make the whole page so I add two, I added two here, you can't even tell. And here is the last one, just playing, here's another insert and this pretty pretty girl on the back right there and then I did put some lace on the bottom how cute is this album i'm also going to show you the one that i had because i don't think i did the walkthrough so you can have some ideas on how you can decorate it now this one is super girly and i just have all kinds of black lace throughout i think and some flowers this little buckle that i got at michael's and again this i did this album probably two years ago and I have this, I had this little piece, I know it's from Michaels, it says she leaves a little sparkle wherever she goes and then I have some, some of this bling and here's this, this spine, I made it so girly, so pretty and this is that penny, what is that called, that collection, I just love it, I think I had something here in Amara and glue because it did not look like this before but anyway so this opens up like that i did put a closure on this one you can most definitely add a closure there as well so inside we have a little pocket using some lace and some little trimming here pom-pom trim a stamp of the eiffel tower and i embellished that with some pearls and here are the inserts so on this one i did add something on the inside i'll probably do that to this album as well and just some trim and that goes in like that how cute is that and then over here i added more flowers oh on this one i think i did little booklets so let's go ahead and open this up i haven't looked at this <laughs> album in a while so it'll be cute to see it and i know i need a, i did another one of these tiny ones tiny albums i did one for my mom a couple years ago for mother's day and i actually did put pictures on that one before i gave it to her so look how fun you can make little accordion folds as well and include more room for pictures here is another page and this other one is just added there so you can have a picture there and i think this one opens up yeah, so this one opens up here with some magnets and here is the next page here again with the opening double opening page this one i just used a paper doily and a flower to create this little tag spot so different styles but same it will be the same concept and on this one you just add a little opening flap right there how cute is this and i think i use this paper because it has tiny images 
so it's perfect for a tiny album like that so that is it for today's tutorial i hope that you guys enjoy this video and i hope that i'm giving you some good ideas to send some heavy mail out to some of your friends your family members your crafty friends and so yeah i want to thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye bye